Derek Zeruzin. I'm a fourth generation graduate of Topless High School. I graduated in 2012. Derek, you were named the next athletic director at T Town on Monday night. What does that mean to you? Yeah, that's huge. Um, I'm really excited to be back home uh, and doing work that I've been doing at a high level for a long time already. Um, and it's pretty awesome to take over after a state boys basketball run. And I'll also be taking over the junior high AD work as well. And their uh, volleyball team is currently in the postseason right now as well. So that's exciting. You will be replacing Lori Thompson's role. Describe what that means. That's huge as well. Uh, Lori is certainly a legendary figure in Teutopolis. Um, I'm glad I'm not taking over for her coaching role. Those would certainly be huge shoes to fill. Uh, but yeah, man, taking over for Lori is going to be great. And, uh, and the nice thing is I'm sure her classroom's in the same place it was 11 years ago when I graduated from T-Town High School. And if I have any questions, I can run down and ask. Have you and Lori been talking much in the process? Honestly, we haven't at this point. Um, throughout the hiring process, which I know we're going to talk about here in a little bit, uh, we didn't talk much. I didn't reach out and say, hey, I applied for the job or anything like that. I, I felt like there could be a chance that, that might give me a leg up on the competition, you know, and I didn't feel like that was fair. So uh, she did text me after I got the position and congratulated me. Um, we'll work very closely together for a transition, I'm sure, just like I'll be working closely with uh, the new AD at Charleston to ensure a smooth transition there. So I've been an AD for six years. Um, I started at Crispin High School. I taught full time. I had a 20 minute prep period to do all the AD work. Um, and I did that for three years there. I moved to Charleston uh, and I'm Dean of Students and Athletic Director there. I've been there for three years as well. Um, so I've been doing this since I was 22. What have you learned in your time of being an AD? A lot, that's a really tough question to try to quantify. Um, it's an admin position, so I'm in a you know managerial position over coaches um, and then also over athletes and deal with athletes and their parents sometimes. Um, so uh, the patience, um, diplomacy skills in terms of you know talking through issues with people, whether it's coaches, officials, fans, players, parents, what have you. The biggest thing I think I've learned is that kids need to be kids and they need to focus on playing the sport. I don't need, I don't have much patience for a kid who's, you know, complaining about officials or things like that. They need to focus on the game. They need to be there and enjoying their time being kids. People need to not put pressure on kids to worry about the things that adults need to worry about. I mean, to be taking over at the hometown school and that's huge. Um, you know, I mean, that's where I went to high school at, obviously. T-Town's always held a special place in my heart, just like everybody else who went to T-Town. Um, and it's really exciting to be able to take over those really top tier um, athletic programs. And that's one thing that I love about it is that it's programs. We don't have teams here, we have programs. They're year in, year out good. Um, and taking over very successful programs will make that easier for me, one. Um, but two, it's exciting to be able to help them grow and achieve the next levels. What makes you the right man for the job? Well, part of it, like we just talked about, was that I, you know, am from here. Um, that's important in T-Town. We love our community. We love our people from our community. So being able to come back home and do it, I think will play well in the community. But also, I've been doing that at a very high level for a little while now. And so I think that also helps. What does being an AD excite you the most? So I think the best thing about being an AD and... It's hard to really specify exactly what I'm trying to say here, so I might, I'm gonna try not to ramble while I'm saying this, but being able to make sure that education-based athletics are in their rightful spot at the top of the athletic food chain in a community, and then additionally, uh, as part of the school and part of the school culture, and as such, then part of the community culture, um, being able to facilitate that is awesome. I had talked about it, the opening with my boss a little bit, my, the principal at Charleston High School where I'm at right now. Uh, he knew that I was looking a little bit. Um, I knew that T-Town had an opening. I knew Effingham's opening was posted. Um, I was also, you know, content at Charleston. Um, and so he and I talked about it a little bit and then I decided to apply uh, on the last day that the application was open actually. Um, I got a phone call that evening from Matt Sturgeon and he invited me in for an interview the following week. Um, we had an interview and then fast forward to um, the following weekend, I get a phone call that I've got a job and then it follows a similar format to any other admin position anywhere in education. 
Um, then there's, you know, talk about getting a contract signed and some of those things, and then it gets board approved uh, on Monday the 13th. What are the duties as your AD job? A lot. Uh, it's definitely a busy job for sure. Um, currently there is an athletic secretary we haven't discussed. I'm assuming that person will still be there and she's excellent, so I'm excited for that. Um, but I will also be, I think for the first time in Topless history, being the AD of both the high school and the junior high. Um, so what that'll be, I'll probably be in both buildings quite a bit. Um, I will be in charge of scheduling all the athletic contests, um, finding all the officials for all the athletic contests, um, supervision of all the athletic contests and then you know as other things pop up I guess you could call it duties as assigned um, is usually kind of the buzzwords that we use um, you know I could I would anticipate if uh, one of the principals is gonna be gone all day for a meeting and there's some sort of situation that needs handled I would probably get tagged in um, just as another administrator in the building in your mind are the toughest obstacles that you face the biggest thing that is, so far in my career as an AD, the biggest thing has always been finding officials. Um, it's a weird situation with officials. Um, they're probably underpaid for what they have to deal with in terms of how they're treated by certain fans, um, but yet, Budgets aren't unlimited, you know, so we have to try to find a balance there somehow, and that's a really tough act. And then you've got to try to see who's available on a Tuesday or a Friday night, you know, and, and hope that somebody's open. That's good. Uh, trying to find quality, experienced officials who are willing to deal with what they have to deal with for the pay that they get um, is not easy. Uh, there's a huge official shortage, um, and I would expect that that will be a major topic of conversation in the next five to ten years. I know right now in the athletic director world it's a main topic of conversation, but I think it'll become a household topic uh, soon. Just at, I mean, things will be getting canceled because of lack of officials in the next five years. There's no doubt in my mind about that. And I think that the IHSA needs to take action. Um, I think that there are some things individual athletic directors can do. And the biggest thing is, if anybody's watching this, it's a young official, I don't know why that would be the case, but if anybody who's interested in this and is watching that's a young official, just keep doing it um, because we need you. Yeah, so like you said, obviously I was super excited. Uh, my wife was excited for the opportunity. She works at Stevens, so it'll be nice. It'd be very easy for us to move down here and live in T-Town. Um, we're sitting at my dad's house right now. He was super excited. My grandma was like screaming. Uh, so we're, you know, people are really excited. And I've got, half of my family's not from T-Town. My mom lives in Atlanta. Um, her, the rest of her side of the family lives in the Chicagoland area, so um, they're excited for me, as you would be for anybody who gets a new job and is excited about it. Um, but you know, the family that's here is really excited about the possibility of us being here and um, just being back in T-Town. What you can bring to the shoes community? Yeah, so everywhere I've been, I've been big on uh, transparency as to, in terms of if there's something going on. You know, I like to be communicative about those things. Um, but you can expect to see uh, more marketing out of our athletic department in terms of uh, graphics and uh, scores and schedules and things like that um, being posted on our social media pages in particular. Um, and they'll all be, you know, very similar in format, um, consistency in that regard as well um, are big things that I like. Yeah, so obviously when I applied, um, came down and interviewed and feeling like I, you know, walking in those doors like, hey, that's gonna be my office right there, you know? Uh, that That's the intent. And if you don't come into a job interview like that, you probably don't have any business going to the job interview, right? Um, but in terms of when I started being an AD, no, not necessarily. Um, I, didn't, I didn't know what was in the future for me. Uh, I didn't have major dreams of being an athletic director when I started at Christman. It just kind of happened, it came with the job. I ended up being really good at it. I'm very happy to do it. I really enjoy it. Uh, so it's something I'm going to continue to do, right? So then uh, on to bigger and better things at Charleston. And then, uh, you know, I've got a family. I've got a two-month-old baby. Start thinking about, you know, hey, do we want to stay here? Hey, there's job openings in T-Town and Effingham. My wife works in T-Town. Um, maybe I can start exploring. And then even then, I didn't really know what this position was going to look like. Um, 
you know, I didn't know if this was gonna be something that I would be interested in or if they were looking for, like Lori was teaching half of the day and then was the AD for a couple periods a day as well. So I didn't know if they're looking for something like that, but they don't have any teaching openings and I'm not a very strong candidate because there's nowhere for me to go. But when they're talking about an admin position now, you know, that's a different conversation. And so then I was able to really uh, get excited about the possibility of coming back and being the athletic director at T-Town. So technically my contract starts July 1, um, but in education contracts are a little bit strange in terms of like when days are laid out. So while I technically am employed by Titopolis High School July 1, I probably won't start until more like August 1, um, but I'm going to have to you know, move stuff into the office, get the office set up. Um, number one thing that comes to mind is meeting with the athletic secretary and talking about what duties they have and what they want to keep, what they want to get off their plate, um, what I think maybe would be good for them to keep or what I think it would be good for me to take off of their plate. Um, those sorts of conversations are important. Um, and then uh, the next step would be verifying all of our schedules for the upcoming year and officials for all those things. Although typically those are booked a year out, so I'm sure Lori already has most of that nailed down, but just verifying that one more time is super important. So uh, those are the first two orders of business. Um, but honestly, the, the secretary piece will probably happen before I technically even start. Meeting with Lori a couple times will probably happen before I even start, but um, you know, those are the first two orders of business. The thanks are due to a lot of people. Uh, Cole Huber is a very good friend of mine. Was in my wedding. He was the principal at Christman who hired me to be the athletic director and, and history teacher there when I was doing that, um, and gave me a lot of guidance in both of those things. Helped me become a very strong educator and an even stronger athletic director. Uh, thank Aaron Locke and Jim Wood and the administration of Charleston High School uh, for giving me the opportunity to work on admin skills there, even while I didn't have an admin degree while I was working on that. Um, and become a, a very strong athletic director um, and work on skills in my Dean of Students role, which is technically my full-time job there. Um, and then most importantly, I need to thank Matt Sturgeon and the Titopolis Unit 50 board uh, for bringing me on and uh, giving me the opportunity to be an AD at Titopolis High School and Junior High. I'm super excited for the opportunity and uh, really want to make the community proud. Man, I'm just excited. I'm fired up. Let's do this.